Harper. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. You can see where I'm at in the background. I'm at the Goodwill Bins, yes. Uh, it's been a few days since I've been able to get up here because Mother Nature decided to dump us with another blanket of snow. And it's cold, you can see my breath right now. It's only like 13 degrees, Burr. So let's get in there and warm up and see what we can find today. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Look at the massive snow drifts. My gosh. I'm brave in this cold weather and coming out though. But unfortunately, I don't see any carts in there. Dang it. <laughs> oh, sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. Hopefully somebody will be checking out soon. If you work for management of the Goodwill bins, can you please let somebody know that the Des Moines store needs more carts badly? Oh, they're just bringing out clothes right now. I gotta get this snow off my shoes. Okay, brr. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for somebody to check out um, and look at the glass. Hopefully somebody will check out soon. That's a shell trinket box. That's old. It's got an old mark on it. It's cute. Oh, look at these. I'll take these. They don't weigh anything. Dang it, I need a cart. I hate carrying my purse around. Good, how are you? No, you're good, you're good. He's new, it's a candle in there. It's a cute hobbyist piece. Cute, cute. Oh, look at the cloches. These are cool. Those are neat. Oh, this is a nightmare carrying around my... Oh, those are paper plates. They look... Oh, wait, no, they're plastic. They're plastic. It's a big old set, Teleflora set. Picture frames. There's a chicky down here with a chip on them. That's funny. I seen that. I didn't see that the first time. There's another one down there too. Yes, I'm gonna go get their cart. Yes, sorry about that filming. I had to stop because I seen somebody checking out. I got a cart, woo! It makes me happy. Now I can go back here. And finish looking. But I'm not seeing nothing. Those are weird. Very modern. I wish there was two of these. I do like that blue glass. Oh, it's cracked. 
Never mind. Never mind. TJ Maxx Birdhouse. I do like these. They say Happy New Year on them. There's two of them. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll end up getting a glass box today. I should get these. Where'd they go? Right here, I should grab these. But I don't know. I don't know if I like those ones. Okay. I like this one. It says dream big. There's a little kitty bowl down there and some shot glasses. Sometimes some shot glasses can be worth some money. Sometimes. Feathers, feather ornaments. It's a mosaic candle holder that was originally three dollars. And there's a Winnie the Pooh bookend. And that's about it. All right, let's go check out the hard goods. Okay, so I just got over to the hard goods and I found this very, very nice purse. I mean, this, it's really, really nice. I don't know the maker. It doesn't really have a label or anything, but I'm going to pick it up because I like it. And I think somebody else will like it as well. Not that one. What's this apron say? Oh, it's all stained up. Oh, actually, when I went to Mexico, that was my favorite drink <laughs> when I used to drink and party. Yeah, I loved rum punch. It was delicious. A necklace tangled up in another necklace. The chain is all tangled up in there. I don't feel like I'm tangling it right now. Jeez Louise, what a mess. Look at this old framed picture. The frame is all falling apart. But this is old. This is just laying in the hard goods. It should be in the picture bins because it's glass. I like this too, but I know that people said you can get the lock brush trees to come out of it. Oh, Jim just threw me some finger puppets. <laughs> yeah, they do, Jim. Anyways, I've been digging around in these bins. I'll show you guys what I've found so far. Um, besides that purse. This is a bunch of stuff for a treasure bag. A lot of these toys in there, they're, some of them are marked Hong Kong. Some of them are marked Marks. But there's all kinds of different stuff in here for a treasure bag. Um, a Super Bowl collection. Whoops. That went the wrong one. Super Bowl collection. The beautiful glittery reindeer. And the glasses. That's about it so far. But we're going to keep digging. See what we can find.
So this fooled me at first. It looked older and I flip it over and then I'm like, wait, look how thin that is. Look how easily you can push that in. This is a newer one. It fooled me, but, but, oh my goodness. I will take that baby. I will take that angel baby. She's pretty. John Lennon glasses. <laughs> That's had a rough night. <laughs> They're taking away old bins. Gonna bring out some new hard goods. All right, here they come out with new hard goods. They look really full. So this is what came out in front of me. <laughs> I don't know. These all look new, glittery reindeer, but we'll see. I'm not really finding much in these new bins. Not much vintage. Donald and baby Yoda or Grogu, whatever. Everybody goes nuts. You have to try to find a place to fit in. That's it. There's even anything good. Cowbell? I'm trying to quit. <laughs> yeah, there's not much in these new bins at all. Not much. taking away glass bins. We're gonna take away these glass and I'm gonna bring out new glass. Ooh, that was a workout. I got some pretty cool things um, out of the glass bins. These are really cool. I looked them up and they sell for quite a bit of money. So I don't know if they work or I don't really know anything about them to be quite honest, but they're pretty cool. And um, a set of friends glasses. I might have to end up getting a glass box today. I don't know, but look what I literally just found when I was waiting to use the restroom. Brand new, never opened, gumdrop tree. So yeah, that's going in my cart as well. Fun, fun. I like this cookie tin, but obviously it's new. Isn't that cute? I like it. Jean jacket. It's really cute. I like that jean jacket. Oh 
my goodness, look at these. So stinking cute and adorable. I love these. I'm definitely picking those up. Let's see if I can find anything else in this bin. These are new bins and everybody just left. Ooh, I love that color. It's new, but for Valentine's Day, I think I'm gonna pick that up because it's not that, it's not really in that bad of shape. All right, well, that was a day. We ended up spending $28 total, so not too bad for everything I got. So let's get right into the haul so I can show you everything that I rescued today from the Goodwill bins. All right, let's get into this $28 haul. Okay, I picked up this really awesome, brand new, in the box, a uh, friend's glasses gift set. It is so fun. Um, never been opened. I looked them up. They sell for about 20 bucks. So I figured why not pick it up, right? I know there's lots of people out there that love friends and including myself. And you could always use some glasses. So I picked them up. Then I picked up this piece now unfortunately i was so excited about this piece because it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning and beautiful 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 old bowl um and then when i was showing my mom on facetime i noticed that it had cracked so and i i looked it over really good at the goodwill bins i know that i looked it over really well so i don't know if it cracked um in my cart or when i you know was transporting it home but it does now have unfortunately a crack right there so i don't know i'll probably this will probably just end up going to the donation the no donation box or something i don't know unless somebody still wants it if you want it message me message me and i can ship it to you but you have to pay for shipping. Um, then I picked up these. Now, these I need to do a little bit more investigating on. I looked them up. They sell for decent money. They're pretty cool. Uh, you plug them into like a USB cord, like a charging cable or something like that. So I am going to have to do a little bit more investigating on them. Like I said, I've just plugged them in really quickly and nothing happened. So I don't know if they have to charge. I don't know. But they're really cool. You know, they're really neat. Maybe somebody could get them to work if I can't. I don't know. But they're cool. I think they would be really neat if they worked, if they lit up. So I picked those up. And then I picked up this. I love feather art. I just think it's so beautiful and awesome. And this is a very nice wicker. Um, you could either use it as a little tray if you like, or you could put a thing on the back of it and hang it up on your wall in your decor. See, these are always usually made in Mexico. This one doesn't really say, but it is, there's the size of it right there. But it, look at the beautiful colors. I mean, someone did an amazing job on that. And it's signed. It is signed by the artist. So very, very cool piece. And then I thought this piece was really cool. I'm going to have to do a little bit of investigating on this piece because... Oh, I have it backwards. There we go. You, it's metal art on driftwood. This is all metal. The leaves and the bird and everything and it is signed right there it is signed by the artist so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to look that up that's a pretty cool piece right you could bend it and you know it is a little bit dusty so you can shine it up a bit but i thought it was cool and then i picked up this really cute piece i thought this somebody would like this to sit on their front porch or something i think it's like a little rain gauge this is glass um it's just a little bird on a stand so cute so i picked that guy up 
Um, these, I believe these are Hazel Atlas. I looked them up. They sell for pretty good money. Um, so I picked them up. You can see they say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on them. They're both in really, really good condition. Very kitschy and fun. No paint loss or anything like that. So I picked those up. And then I picked up this gal. She's so cute with her little poodle. Oh, she was in the glass bins. So stinking cute and adorbs. I love that. And then these glass, purple glass um, starfish candle holders. I thought those were really pretty. There's no chips or cracks. They've got really nice detail and they're purple glass. So I thought those are very unique and cool. Pick those up. This little um, amber toothpick holder, little maybe candle holder, whatever. I think that's cute. I like the design on there. So I picked that up. This little piece this on the amethyst i believe it's and it's a glass pig how cool is that that's a really really neat piece they got little things on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on your table and then there's no chips or cracks or nothing on that little guy so that's a pretty cool piece and then this really neat tilt frame it is dusty it needs cleaned up but I just thought that was really cool. Really nice decorative. Um, this is a reproduction one. This is not an older one, as you can see. But it's still really, really beautiful and stunning. And it has, like, the felt on the bottom of it to keep it from moving. But it's a nice one. Very cool. These need... There we go. <laughs> And it is marked on the back, actually, British Registered Design. And then HL. It's so, pretty cool frame. And then, I picked up this really cool brass piece. Alex found this. Thanks, Alex. It's got a hinged lid. It's really, really nice. I like the lion heads on the side. So it's a really pretty brass piece. I like that. Made in India. And it's numbered or something. So I like that piece. I picked up these beautiful sparkly deer. I thought those were really cute and kitschy and fun. So I picked that bag of them up. I found three target birds. Here is one of them. His tag says 2018 um, Hansy is his name. He's so stinking cute and adorable. Really good condition. Um, I don't know what's going on right there. Just that's how he was made, I guess. He's cute. Oh, I picked up this really a cute, fun, vintage Christmas snowman piece. Look at his little top hat. It is so cute and adorable. It's got the cardboard bottom. It is stamped Japan, as you can see. Really, really good condition. So just a little bit of wear from age here and there. That's a cute piece. And then I found it with this sitting beside this little girl, this little angel. So I thought she was really cute and kitschy. Then I did find some hankies, some vintage hankies. I'm going to show you these because this one is really cool. Isn't that hanky really neat? I like that one. What does that say? How the... Norwegians say it, mourn, mourn. 
Oh, it's how the Norwegians say it. And it's got all the little sayings on there. Super cute. And then the other one I thought was so cute is this one. It reminds me of the Price is Right Yodely guy. That's who that reminds me of. It's all stitched and embroidered on that vintage hanky. So I thought that one was really fun. And then this really cute one. So those three vintage hankies. I found a Super Bowl collection. A whole Super Bowl collection. There's a whole bunch of them in there. Big ones, small ones. Um, different colors and designs. So really fun. I found an Anna Lee. I did find an Anna Lee. Really, really stinking cute and adorable. She is from 2019. It says on her tag, very kitschy and perfect for springtime. Very, very perfect for this time of the year. So this was a really fun find. I was excited to find that. I mean, I love finding Christmas all year round. Don't get me wrong, but I never hardly find a lot of spring stuff and summer stuff. So, and then I thought this set was really, really cool. So it's a, they're like the corn husks kind of, that's what they're made out of. They're little dolls with, and I don't know if that's real hair or what, but they're very, very well made. Very well made. I thought that was a really cute set. So very unique and different, which I like. And then I found some linens. I picked up this little tablecloth. It's all embroidered, as you can see. It's really pretty. And then a table runner. And mind you, I have not washed any of these, nor will I probably before I sell them. I usually don't. So some of them may have a couple little spots on there like that, but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So I always appreciate the embroidered and stitched linens. I like picking them up because I appreciate the work that went into them. And I picked up Miss Kathy Boots, a couple books. She asked me to find her a couple books. She's going to make um, some scrapbooks, I believe is what she said. So I picked these books up for her. I think they're perfectly perfect. And I actually sent her a picture and she liked them. So I, this one is going to be really cool for that. So I love them. So those will be going to her. Then I picked up this. Oh, his little guitar. There we go. Isn't that angel so sweet? So, so cute. Absolutely adorable. Needs a little cleaning. It's got like a little black mark on its head right there. But it is a cardboard angel. I believe they're from Japan. I don't see, oh, yep, right there. I thought I seen a sticker on it. Right there underneath the, underneath the fabric. Isn't that adorable? So, so precious. I love this piece. Sometimes I, and you know what? You could put this out for Valentine's Day. You could, because it's red. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. And then, me and Alex found a, they're on the top of one of the bins that they brought out. There was a whole bunch of vintage pantyhose. Now, I don't really sell clothes and stuff like that. So I gave, you know, Alex took the majority of them, but I did end up taking two of them. She did give me two of them. So thank you again, Alex. And I just like the graphics on the boxes. Look, they're old vintage. They're brand new, never opened. So two boxes of those. I just thought they were so fun. <laughs> and then I picked up this purse at the beginning. I love it. Absolutely love this bag. It is gorgeous. Look at the style. Perfect for spring and summer. Um, perfect condition. Beautiful, beautiful. All like woven. You see that? It's like gorgeous. So it's got some dust on it but 
from some other things in the sack. But it's, and then there's the bottom. It is so awesome. Such a fun, fun bag. So pick that up. This belt buckle was so fun. Or actually, it's a whole belt with a belt buckle. So here's the belt. It's really, really nice. It is top grain leather made in the USA, it says. So it's really, really nice. Really good shape. Really good condition. And then look at the belt buckle. I love that. How very 70s, very, very 70s. Um, and the brand is Von West, it says. Von West. So pretty nice piece. I thought that was so cool. And then I picked up this bear, which I looked these up and they sell for really good money. Now, I don't know if this is a raccoon bear or what it is um technically i don't know it's in really really good condition the arms move they're articulated in the legs um and then look it's got a the key on it and the brand is charlie bears i looked them up and they sell he's got some fuzz on him they sell for really, really good money. This brand does of plushies. So yeah, that definitely went in my cart. I will put some comps up there to show you guys, but he is so adorable. Perfect condition, no rips, stairs, holes, or stains, and he doesn't smell, so <laughs> he's so cute. Um, then, oh, I picked up this really fun vintage Christmas ornament. I had another bag in my hand, and when I was digging through the bins, somehow it got lost. So there was two more other ones. Not They weren't fish like this one. They were uh, other ones, but I liked this one the best. So I'm glad this one did not end up slipping out of my hand. He is so stinking cute and adorable. Isn't that ornament? It's like the spun nylon or whatever that is, but it's a fishy, it's a fishy ornament, and I love it so much. I thought that was so cute and adorable and kitschy, so I might actually end up either selling these as a choice lot or as these three right here. I might end up selling them as a choice lot or as a lot together, who knows. Depends how I feel, but I like them. <laughs> I picked up a whole bag of buttons, a whole bag of vintage buttons. There's some really, really cool ones in there. Some are still on their cards and stuff. So I thought that was a neat bag. This is really cool. Brand new old stock, never opened um, gumdrop tree. You can put your little hors d'oeuvres on there. It's green. Usually I find them in clear, but this one is in green. So that's pretty cool. This really cool bell. I think they're from Germany. I believe these are from Germany. I could be mistaken, but I don't know. I think that's really neat. I like how it's all embroidered, the flowers and stuff, and the colors are really pretty. So that was a cool piece. Uh, here's one of the other target birds that I found. This one is 2018 and his name is Adler. There we go. So cute. And then the other target bird is from 2018 and his name is Forest. Cool. So three target birds. Not bad. And then the, oh, nope. I picked up this. I picked up this wood carved piece. Now I did do a Google image search on this and these actually sell for decent money as well. So I'll put comps up here to show you guys, but look at some of the detail. 
it's really cool and it's got like the red felted bottom it's old it's an older piece but it's really cool and then a bunch of stuff for a treasure bag so i will quickly go through that to show you everything that i got in the treasure bag it's a good treasure bag this really cool piece this was actually in the glass bins look at the neat design on there isn't that cool it's very very decorative and it's signed on the bottom i can't read what it says but it is signed pretty neat then oh this is a cute piece this was also in the glass bins um eat turkey <laughs> it's so cute i believe it's an esco from 2000 yep 2000 in esco and then it is signed up there on the corner of it but he's a cutie patootie no chips or cracks oh this actually is gonna go with the other vintage christmas this is not going to be in the treasure bag. He's going to go with the other vintage Christmas that I found. He is so stinking kitschy and cute and adorable. He's Dumbo. He, and he's all felted. So sweet. So he's going over here with, in that vintage Christmas lot. And then I found this felted guy. I know he's so cute. He'll, he'll stay in the treasure bag. He's a felted koala bear. He's a bobblehead. He's a bobble. <laughs> So he's in the treasure bag. This is in the treasure bag. Really cool piece. A vintage hair clip from the 80s. I believe it's from the 80s, maybe 70s. Who knows? But it's like a banana clip. <laughs> vintage. Um, the Grinch, Cindy Lou Who, little coin purse. I thought that was so cute and adorable. Cindy Lou Who. Um, this little um, genuine leather little key holder. I believe it's what it is. It is marked right there, as you can see. Cowhide. Genuine cowhide, I guess. That this little happy Halloween googly-eyed monster dude he's in the treasure bag two calico critters bunnies the felted flocked bunnies a little vintage troll a super ball but that goes in the super ball bag a couple bracelets are pretty, really neat. A Nike um, keychain. I thought that was pretty cool. A little wooden mallet type thing. Vintage hair clip. A Dory keychain. So stinking cute. I don't know what this is for. It's metal. I have no idea what it's for. Is it like a gear shifter maybe? I have no idea. That's in there. This cute little German figure is in there. Look how sweet the little face is. So cute and adorable. Like that piece. And I think it says made in Hong Kong. Oh, it says Hallmark Cards, Inc. Hallmark. Who knew? Oh, there's a bunch of these. Now, there's so many. Some of them are stamped Hong Kong and some of them are stamped Marks. They're little plastic dudes. Like I said, some of them are Marks. Some of them are Hong Kong. But they're all older ones. There's a whole bunch of them in here. And all of them are stamped. Except for like, I don't... Yeah, he stamped marks. Right. I don't know if it's going to come in, if I'm going to be able to get it to come in or not. But it is stamped marks on the bottom. And the 
this cute little Energizer bunny figurine. I thought that was cute. He's in the treasure bag. Some vintage Mardi Gras beads with the place. I don't know even know if that bar still exists or not, but I thought that was pretty cool. Little vintage rubber jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. I don't know if it's a pencil topper or what it is, but it's in the treasure bag. Really pretty um, stone. It's got some really cool layers on there, so I thought that was a neat piece. There is two Simpsons stickers. Two Simpsons stickers. A pin with like a skeleton octopus. Um, a couple of these coin type memorabilia things. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty cool. Some more pins. A robot and a Hot Wheels, I think. There we go. Cute. More pins. This one's a, a button. This one's Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. It's a button. And then this is Disney. A vintage Disney pin. Um, a purple dice, a clip on earring, another earring, and a little mood ring type thing. So all that is in the treasure bag. I got all that. All that I got for $26. So I don't think I did too bad. What do you guys think of my haul? How do you guys think I did? I don't think I did quite bad. 26 or 28, I can't remember now. It's either 26 or $28, but because it's the next day, obviously. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Um, what was your favorite thing that I found today? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new picking and thrifting and haul videos and live sales. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.